this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, hey, I'm glad you're back and I hope you're still staying safe. Uh, listen to the warnings. When you go out to protect other people, put on your mask. Make sure that you, you, you're protecting others by limiting the ability for the virus to be spread uh, towards you, towards somebody else. Uh, and, and the same thing, if they do the same thing, if they put a mask on and keep whatever they contagious may have, from coming to you. So we keep the social distance of six feet. If we wash our hands thoroughly, if we put on our masks, and some, I put on gloves too uh, when I go out. But we keep that social distance, wash our hands, put on a mask to protect one another. We're gonna beat this thing. We already see the numbers going down. We see it happening. New York is, is, has reached its peak and now leveling out as far as new cases. It's unfortunate about the, the number of deaths. The deaths going to keep happening. Uh, but if we keep, we pray, let's pray for those people that are fighting. There's over what? Um, oh gosh, 200 some thousand people infected. But let's, let's pray. Let's pray. Right now, like 3% of those cases uh, about 20,000 people died. But, it, but there, there's people right now, as you watch this video, what do you watch this video? Uh, this is the date right here, it's the, the 12th of April. Uh, but the, the point is that let's pray for those people. Let's pray for those people. And then when somebody look at this video next year or year after, after that, let's just say hallelujah. Let you know we prayed. And if you're looking at this video two years from now, we want you to know it was our prayer, glory to God. It was our prayer. Now, what I want to be able to say, happy Resurrex Resurrection Sunday. Amen? The 12th of April, happy Resurrection Sunday. Why we call it Resurrection Sunday? Because that's where he rose up, amen? Hallelujah. Uh, there's, um, there's some we call it Easter. And if, like I say, Easter is a pagan. If you don't know about it, they, they, they derive from a pagan religion. Yeah, and we're not interested in that. We're interested in the fact of resurrection. Because if Christ be risen, <laughs> now here's our salvation. Amen? So the bottom line is, I, I, whoever watched this video for the 12th of April 2020, just like 2019, past all those years of celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we want you to continue to understand we do that in remembrance of Him. Amen? All right. So, just remember, happy Resurrection Sunday. I pray that most of you will be worshiping virtually at home because this, this year, this time, we're fighting that virus, that pestilence. But we're going to win. We got the victory. But just remember, whether you went to service on, on 12 April or whether you stayed at home, you still honor and doing this in remembrance of the Lord. And, and we're praying that, that with the blood of Jesus all over our homes, or even in that church building, that deaf angel will pass by. Amen? Now, one of the things I want to do, we're going to go ahead and, 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 and remind you, this is part C, this is wrapping up what we did on the 5th of April, is the fact is that put on the whole armor of God and, and pray but understand that prayer is a two-way conversation. And we're asking you, me, we're asking those who are seeking God. When you communicate with God, seek to hear from Him. Do more than just speaking and speaking. It's, it's a communication. And in the communication, let's, let's, let's take time to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. And, and what I'm saying to let you know is that the Bible said pray without ceasing. And the only way you can do that pray without ceasing is the fact is that you constantly tune in to the frequency of the Holy Spirit communicating to you. And, and taking the time when you do it, when you talk uh, physically or when you do it, talk, communicate within yourself, which you do all the time, many of us do. We all do some <coughs> communication 
internally, right? Well, sometimes just make sure that you're talking to God and, 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 and inquiring Him. When you're going through, <clears throat> you're trying to make decisions, try to, try to, try to communicate and then try to hear. And I know we do hear. We hear, I know we hear. Many places we've been in a situation where we say, I, I, something, you, you, many of you have heard this before. Something told me I shouldn't have went there. Something told me I shouldn't have did that. You know, I mean, we, 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 there, there's, there's a communication. We just need to make sure you understand there's a frequency and there's a voice coming through that frequency in the spirit. And what we want to do is we, we practice tuning in to that frequency, that, to that voice of God. And not always just running our own mouths, but just listening. That's what the Bible talks about, meditate on the word. Joshua 1 8, meditate on the word day and night. Meditate. And then and just listen. And then another thing, too, is you study the word of God. Allow his word to be where the will of God implies into your questions that you have to for him. Amen? And I mean, don't forget to pray. That's all I'm trying to say. And pray without ceasing. You, you can pray speaking, speaking through your mouth, or you can, you can pray speaking internally in your spirit and, 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 and seek God. You know, even Jesus, on the, on the night of the, um, he was getting ready to take him to the, to the, uh, to be captured. He went into the Garden of Gethsemane in the midst of his storm. And he prayed. So I'm, I'm going to wrap this up here as we get into the video. Uh, it says here, this is Matthew's chapter uh, 26, and it started at verse uh, 30. And when he had sung a hymn, he went out and prayed, and that's another Bible study we can get into. The fact is, you in the midst of this battle, don't forget to praise God. Don't forget to sing hymns, amen? They went into the Mount of Olives. Then said Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smack this shepherd. In the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Interesting. As we're sitting there, and most of us will not be going to a church service uh, this Easter Sunday. Uh, and I call it Resurrection Sunday. We, we're going to, people are scattered all over the place. And I said in the last video, that means we've been, pre it's not scattered in the sense of loss. Is a scattered sense of being prepositioned pre to fight the battle on the battlefield. Think about it. But this situation sounds the same thing. Jesus said they're going to smite the shepherd, huh? And the, and the, and the sheep and the flocks are scattered abroad. And moving forward, moving out. But after I have risen again, and now we're talking, this, we're in that disposition of risen again. I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answered and said to him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, This night before the cock crow thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all his disciples. Then cometh Jesus unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto his disciples, Sit ye here where I go, and pray yonder. Jesus prayed in the midst of his crisis. And he took one of Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Turn ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. And he cometh to the disciples and findeth them, findeth them asleep, and said unto Peter, What could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went again. The second time, and pray, said, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, as up I drink it, thy will be done. And he came and found him asleep again, for the eyes were heavy. He left them and went again, went away again, and prayed the third time. Then comes he to the disciples and said unto them, 
Sleep on now and take ye rest. Behold, the hour is at hand. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be gone. Behold, he to the hand thus betrays me. Jesus went three times. He prayed. He prayed three times for this cup to pass. But at the same time, he always said, let that will be done. And I think of the same thing we should do with ourselves. Every day we pray. Pray and say, Lord, let that will be done. If this, if this, let this happen or let that will be done if it's not your will. Amen? But just remember, listen. And if you want to hear, use the word of God. And see if whatever you're asking for lines up with his will. His word. Amen? But also said, Happy Resurrection Sunday. And uh, we're going to do a study. We're going to talk about he's alive. <laughs> he's alive. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you enjoy your Resurrection Sunday. God bless. Bye-bye. Now, in the scripture say that those who are led in the Spirit of God are the sons of God. And so here we go with the faith thing again. Faith coming by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Yes, that sir. That is not faith is sin. Those who yes, are led sir. by faith are his sons. So yes, God sir. is moving, and we're, we're being taught to follow him now. I believe this situation has occurred where we literally can learn to listen to the voice of our Father and move yes. in according to his will. Yes, I sir. What, what's happening yes, right now? Yes, and, and that scripture, Second Chronicles seven fourteen, is prophetic in the sense that who is tall Christian prior to us? So now <laughs> we're seeking his face. We're seeking his desire. We're seeking his yes. will. We're seeking his methodology. We're seeking on, uh, the church has failed. The church, as it stands right now, has failed the mission. Woo! It's evident that we're not. We have not prepared our people to do spiritual work. We prepared them in carnality, and the carnality does not work. In the spiritual environment, we it are being not. waxed by demons. We've been waxed by viruses and sicknesses that we should have control over. But right. we've not been taught to be even dealing, to even traffic in that area. But we're learning yeah. now. God yes, is sir. going to lead his sons and his daughters in such a manner that his glory will be revealed in the earth Woo. now. That's happening. Yeah, That's what's happening now. I think the problem is that churches, maybe, and I, I'm not, and, and anybody listen, I'm not. I, I think what we're saying is, I think we we got into a a comfort zone, and and we we wanted people to bring people to the sanctuary, but I think it was more or less to to grow in numbers, not so much to to hmm. to equip them to do the work out there. Chris, no, you know what I mean? I, I think that's where the comfort zone came in. Is y'all y'all bring them to church? Bring somebody to church on Sunday. Huh? Just tell it's them about our club. church. Tell them what we do. Tell them what we stand for. Well, well, that is, that is not. I, I understand what he's trying to do, but if you're not equipping them when they show up to do the work, if you're not qualifying them, Chris, then you're, you're losing your certification. You no longer. You're not a you're not a qualified drill instructor. If you're not teaching the people how to fight. Legit. Wow. Legit. Legit. Tell you, hey, real. when you were when you were a company commander, you took your company to the range, to the firing range, and you checked out. We took a hundred people to the range. How many were qualified? You ain't care how Ooh. many went, you wanna know how many were qualified. Yep. Yep. That's it. And that's what the, the top leadership wants to know, all the way up to the top, all the way to the chain of command, how many people are qualified to do the work? Come on. JSAR, you, you, you had to be, you had to be basic mission qualified, and then you got to be what? Qual whatever the other one is, but you got to, mm -hmm. you got to be a qualified crew to be on that jet. Yes, sir. Sure. You go, go ahead, Elder. I think our training camps were initially established to teach people to link up with the father. Yes, to sir. Like how to use the communications equipment and follow right. the direction that we got from home base. I mean, from 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 central, from uh -huh. command headquarters. Anyway, and we didn't do that. We really didn't. I mean, yeah. we did not teach people to listen to God, and Woo. that is that's where our problem lies. Is that we really <laughs> didn't because God is speaking. He is real. You know, he is alive. We don't have to figure him out 
or we ain't got to even, you know, try to guess what he wants. Only thing we got to do is ask. But wow. we have to do that. We have to do that on an individual basis. It's like faith is legitimate. What is faith? Basically, believing what God has said. Woo. Faith in the word <laughs> is the source of the things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. God will literally speak to you, and He does. Wow. <laughs> he continually <laughs> speaks to us, but we're not trained to listen. And the church is supposed to be preparing people for that job. You when it talks it. about the Holy Spirit giving pastors, preachers, teachers, evangelists, apostles, it's Him. Wow. Wow. But we got to get the people, train the people to listen to Him to find out what they are. I can't tell you what your mission is. It's not for me to judge whether you're not you're a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, whatever. It's the Holy Ghost that's going to actually put that on your heart. I may be able to confirm it if he reveals that to me, but I can't look at you and say, you know, you need to be an evangelist. You might not need that job. That might not be you. But the Holy Ghost, if you ask him, he will tell you who you are and what it is that he needs you to do for him. And he well, may the confirm thing about it. The thing about it, I don't think, I, I don't think it's a concern about whether you are of the five-fold ministry gift. I think that's going to manifest itself. I think the fact is that they, that warrior, that frontline warrior, which is the body of Christ, that individual member that sits in the pew, that person that received Jesus Christ, the personal Lord and Savior, that's the one that's the one that's a warrior. That's the one that's going to fight the battle. That's the one that's going to be on the battlefield. You as a general, I don't care whether you're a mega church or a small church, you know, I guess small church could be the platoon, uh, Chris. They could be the squad, Chris. But the, the mega church may be where the generals are. But the generals are both reporting in the fight, a big battle. But you and know, the, the battle first thing, is now. The funny thing about it is there's always communication. Communication and warfare is one of the most essential elements that you have, right? Come on, now. What we, didn't, what we have the advantage of is that each one of us can right. actually tune in to headquarters. Every last yeah. one of us can hear the commander speak, give Whoa. us our specific detail, and march with it. But we Whoa. did not teach people how to use the I mean, the, the equipment. Here you oh, are, okay. that is God that you personally can have a relationship with the Father Whoa. that you all people first together, you know, just like in the garden. But we don't teach people the, the essentials of that very basic principle of the kingdom. You can talk to God yourself. You don't Whoa. need a priest. <laughs> a priest will see all of that. Like you said, everybody that God gives direction to can heal. If he tell you to go heal somebody, go heal them. You might be a pew sinner, but you're still a believer. And he is given to you that ability if he speaks it through you. All of us are usable. Some of us have that Woo! gift. The others Woo! have that ability because of the Holy Ghost that lives in you. You just have to listen hey, to that What hey, you want me to do? That reminds me, like the Blue Force tracker, that, look, every soldier can be tracked on the battlefield. Now you they, preach they, they can actually, like you just said, Elder, that the general can, can go down to that particular squad, that particular section, that particular soldier, if he needs you, and say, look, son, there's, there's some people coming this way, and I need you to hold your ground right here, all right? I need you That's to set up as the enemy is coming. There's a J-Star. I get to see the big picture. And now I want to talk to the individual. Every jet can talk. Everybody on the crew can talk. Isn't that right, Chris? That, that, that you, everybody can tune in and hear what's going on. And what I'm talking about. <laughs> we need to train. Hey! We need to train on the jet to qualify to be able to listen to how many, I think, like, what, 12, nine nets or something like that at one time. Because oh, everybody has to be tuned in to keep situation awareness. Everybody got to be ready to receive that call. Y'all know about what J-Star is. They can call you. They can call you on the radio. On the, on the, on, you got like nine radios you listen to, and somebody can call you individually to talk to you directly. And you got to be able to listen when that phone, hey, Chris, when that phone call comes, so you can pick up and say, yes, can I help you? <laughs> Elvis, like you said, the general Jesus Christ, the head of the church, can sit there and go and talk to every individual saint if they're listening. Amen, man. And the church was to teach them how to do that. Woo. And we did. Yeah. 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 We that's, that. that's that's the thing, Woo. Elder. It's uh it's it's all about teaching the individuals how to develop 
a personal Woo. relationship Woo. with our Father. Yes, sir. Through his son, yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Now, yes, if they're not doing that, like I've always said, they're I'm missing the mark. Missing the mark. Um, it's mm. imperative that yes, these people get to learn God's word based on God's picture. Yeah. From God's God's uh view, Pretty not someone great. else's view. So that's Come a on. personal yes, thing. Sir. You yes, sir. point somebody in the direction. Look, you you like we were talking about going to the firing range. You bring yes, someone to the firing range, you show yes. them how to shoot. You don't Come take on. the gun and shoot for them. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, no. You look, and when you go to war, you don't let nobody else load your clip. Come you on, load man. your own clip. Amen. You tap that bab on your head and you stick it in your gun, and Come then on. you know it's ready to shoot. Right. So, until we get Woo. there, Amen, we man. are going to be, you know, uh, uh, at a disadvantage. A lot of saints yes, are going to be at a disadvantage, you yes, know, because they're relying. Yes, on sir. the support of someone Woo. else. Woo. Yes. Instead of, you know, well, let me put it this way. They're they're relying on the support of an individual instead of God. No, you you. And that and that and that's where that's where it is. You know, uh if you got to go to church to 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 get your confidence, you Woo. you 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 you've missed the mark. Woo. You missed the mark. If yeah. if you got to call someone else to pray for you, you've missed the mark. Now I'm not yeah, saying that you're not in the number. <laughs> oh yeah, you're in the number. You're right. <laughs> you missed the mark because there, there's greater things. It's a warfare, right? It's a yes. warfare. Hey Chris, can you imagine some man on the battlefield, on the actual battlefield, and say, "Son, I need to go back to training." <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. Some people fall into that too. There, there are a lot of people that get put on the front lines and they can't function because they were not made ready for that or they just aren't the person to be ready for that. There was a lot of people who were drafted that shouldn't have never been drafted. Yes. That wouldn't have never qualified whether they wanted to or not. No, they they might have been. They sh probably should have been somebody who was looking at maps or, or you know, taking notes for a general or somebody or, or whatever, or holding a briefcase, but not out there in the front lines. They were just uh, a, a speed bump, <laughs> you know, basically. But see, hey, 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 brother. But here's the thing: you said, like you said, in this in this battle that we're in, can be drafted. You got to volunteer. Yes. yes you got sir. to submit to this. Yep. Yes, sir. You can't you got that's true. It's a volunteer, it's an all volunteer force. Mm -hmm. huh? And I think the problem is we've been sending some of our boot camps, some of our training centers, they keep recycling people, or they don't even want to they, they're not investing, they're not sending out a qualified soldier for us. Well, well, let me put it this way. Everyone in this world has been drafted. Yes, sir. We just have draft dodgers. Bingo. Oh, I love that. I love because that. Because God yeah. sent his son that this world. Exactly. Come on, come on, come safe. on. Not I for like a few, but for the world. He did so we have now. draft dodgers because everyone is drafted. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, There's I, not a I, person on this earth that God did not die for. He, there you go. He died for the whole world. But I think, the point, I think the point we really want to get the emphasis is on the body of Christ equipping the saints and let us saints understand you're in a war right now. Amen. We're in a big war. And it's not time to go back and be recycled, right, Chris? It's not time to sit there and learn how to fire your weapon. It's not time for you to know how to do a function check on your weapon. It's not a time for you to figure out how to get your gun unjammed when it jams. You need to know all that right there. 
<laughs> because on the battlefield, you are individually, you have your point, you have your, your lane that you're supposed to follow. And if you're not following your lane, you can't cover your buddy. You, I don't have a combat buddy. If you're not trained, I, don't, I can't, I, I, Chris, how comfortable would you be going on the battlefield and you got untrained people with you? Yeah. That's what yeah. we're trying to say. The Saints, the battle is not, I mean, do we not say, do like David say, is there not a cause right now? <clears throat> There's a cause right now. If I don't recognize, there's a cause right now. There's a cause. There's a cause for alarm. There's a cause for fighting. Mm. There's a cause for standing. There's a cause to do the battle, to do the work. It's now. Mm. I ain't got time to train you no more. The battle is now. And what we yeah. got is we got we got a, we got some holes in our line, Chris. Amen. You know, Pastor. Yeah. I see we got some bad training. We got some bad training. We got some I, I bad see that training. there is a, a opportunity, like like we were talking earlier, that we we're already in position. Yeah, we're, we're we're in position all over the world. We 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 have been strategically placed all over the world. Now, yes. in in my mind, I see that my house Come on, is man. a sanctuary. Come on, and the people in my community. Are gonna look over here and see that we are. There's no fear over here. Come on, they're, come they're, on. They're, 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 look, that everybody is safe. Everybody come is on. doing is is come living. On. You know, we're not down. We're not living in fear. Come and on. even even my 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 son, who who somewhat believes, he's Woo. still sanctified because he's under me. Come now, on, these <laughs> these neighbors of mine are gonna Woo. see. Now, if they start falling off, guess where they gonna come? On, what man. are you doing to where your house <laughs> is in order and mine's nice. in disarray? Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. You know, <laughs> just like you see, we, we are sanctified over here. Come on, Come on brother. We, we, are, we are children of the most high God. <laughs> let, matter of fact, let me reintroduce myself to you. I am a son of God, Myron Addison. Come on. Pleased to meet you again, neighbor. <laughs> So that you Please know, you. my on. God has supplied Woo. all my needs according to his riches and glory uh -huh. in heaven. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, that that's where it is. Woo. That's where it is. That's the secret place. You know where the secret place is. Huh? Right. My Psalms 91. All right? Now, with that in mind, Brother Jackson, now you finally got your, your, your stuff working again. <laughs> And we got we have Elder been saying that over and over again. We're gonna read uh Second Chronicles chapter seven. And we uh, the real verse is 14, but we'll go ahead and read 13 and well go ahead and read eleven to fourteen. Who you want to read it? Uh Brother Jackson. All right. It says here, thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord in the king's house and all that came unto Solomon excuse me and all that came into Solomon's heart to, to make in the house of the Lord and his own house prosperously effected and the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him I have heard thy prayer I was in this place to myself for the house of sacrifice if I shut up heaven, no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, send pestilence among my people. My people, called by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, will hear, heal their land. Come on now. And he's talking about if my people, huh? If my yes. people would do that, mm -hmm. right? Some of themselves yes. seek my faith. Chris, he ain't talking about, he ain't talking about seeking the, the building. He ain't talking about seeking the pastor. He ain't talking about seeking the elder. He ain't talking right. about seeking the apostle. 
He said, if my people are called by my name, if you call by the name of Jesus, if my people are called by my name, Amen, man. To seek my face, not Preach, going man. to a church building right now. The battle, well, like Chris and I talked about, the battle is right now, brother. Huh? You, it's time. <laughs> it's time. It's time for the rise and shine of the church. And the battle is at hand. You ain't got time to be recycled. You ain't got time to go back and get trained. Matter of fact, Chris, sometimes you have to do OJT now. If, if, if you don't know how to fire your weapon, you're going to have to learn now. You're going to have to test it on the battlefield. Huh? But the beauty of it is that... We're going to train the hard way. If you put it on correctly, after I tell you, and if you fall dead, you just failed to train. <laughs> but you know, you the beauty of it... You just, I, I, look, I told you back in training how to put that mask on. We put the banana thing on and all that to make sure you got a good seal. I told you how to do it. You didn't listen? Well, look, you're going to learn now. And it won't be, put, remember Brother Jack did put that banana thing underneath the, uh, the, the gas mask so to see if you could smell it, right? To see if you had a good seal. Uh, Roger, you, Roger that. You, you can fail that test, Chris. You can say, oh, I smell it. Oh, okay, okay. well, let's fix it, right? Because you ain't dead. Yeah. But now, mm -hmm. it's OJT. Hey, Chris, it's OJT. Yes, sir. Huh? Hey, yes, sir. And, and, and Brother Addison, if, if, if the virus is here, then you put on your gas mask. Yeah, gas, <laughs> gas, gas. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is oh, the virus. Yeah. You got to put it on now. If you don't know how to put it on. You wow. know, there was uh, one of my best wow. friends is in the Marines. And uh, and we always went at it, you know, services, Woo. system services. And he was wondering if we knew how to properly get a seal on our mask. You Woo. know, put on. So he says, all right. I'm going to time you and see if you do it right. Ooh. I'm sitting on there waiting on him because, you know, I'm in the Air Force and he is a Marine. He said, I, I'm waiting on him to say gas, 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 because that's all we were taught. But he went like this, you know, put his hands together. Yes, and I'm sitting there staring at him. Ooh. And he waiting on me to put my gas mask on. Well, I was never taught that symbol. Ooh. Oh, I had to learn something. He said, well, if I'm on a hill and I see a mortar round that has gas on it, you down at the bottom of the hill, how am I going to yell gas, gas, gas <laughs> for you? He said, you need a symbol. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I had to learn something. You yes, know? sir. The Marines are still knuckleheads. I still learn something from them boys. <laughs> Yeah, that boy know how to survive and win in the battlefield. Yes. He's trying to see, a lot of cases, your expectation, a lot of cases until there's a storm, you 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 send that jet out. Remember that? That's what y'all was smart. Most of y'all, we're going to send out, we'll send the fighters out. Yeah. We'll send those officers on those jets. Let them go out there and fight that battle. Huh? Right. But 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 this this is a different type of warfare. Yes. This, this is like, that's like the army. You're on the battlefield, and each yeah. individual, what they do matters because your buddy beside you is depending on you. Yeah. What you do. Yes. Yeah. Covering my back, because the enemy is real. Amen. Amen. Man, I want. We 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 we. I gotta wrap up, but I wanted to get to that temptation of Christ, and I wanted Brother Addison to read it. But let me, Brother Addison, we're gonna close it with that, but. I just let everybody know that the scripture that I'm going to bypass is Chris, because we're talking about faith is now and not if. And we first want to start where it started from, because in back in Genesis, you know, God told Adam, if you eat this tree, you're going to die. The devil comes into the battle, comes into the, to the, to the, to the garden. And he told those people, has God said, now look, we know what God said. Why you ask me, has God said? God said it, right? And then on top of that, the, the joker gonna contradict 
God right in front of them and say, you will not surely die. That should have been, that Chris, that should have ended it right there, that conversation. You said, what? You will not surely die. Wait a minute. You just asked me, has God said? I just told you what God said. Now, you can tell me what is not going to be, what ha not going to happen. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then yes, remember, sir. when no one's word says, we're going to have to start operating on it because I think that's how you challenge it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're in with this one with Brother Addison bringing it on home, dealing with the temptation of Christ. Because now we got to understand, the enemy comes in and try to question your faith. And you got to be equipped to fire back with the real weapons. And Jesus is trying to show you how to fight in the battlefield. Go ahead, brother Addison. It's Matthew one four one. Four one. And it reads, "Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungry. And when he tempt, and when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread.'" But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple. Yes, sir. And saith unto him, if thou be the son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Yes, sir. So, seven, Jesus said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt <laughs> not tempt the Lord thy God. Come on now. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Amen. Amen. You, you said a really question, but if, hey, Chris, they kept on that if, if. But Jesus, Jesus didn't respond to him on that if. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Said, I ain't trying, I'm, it's not my job to, to, to convince you that I am. It's my job to tell you what the word says. Amen. Yeah. And you know, it, it's amazing how each temptation brought him to a higher level. Yes, sir. You know, we went from stones on the ground <laughs> to commit to, suicide to the to the temple, and then to a high mountain. Come on, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> each each thing was level. But the crazy thing is, wow, the enemy was there with Christ. Yes, sir. And people forget that they think that. You know, he ain't going to be in the church if you tell him to get out. What, where, where is he going to go? Mm, mm, mm. So, uh, uh, that's why Jesus didn't say, go, go, go away. He said, get behind me. Get behind me, Satan. Get from in front of me trying to communicate. You get behind me. Come on, brother. Look. You Come know, on. get from, get, get from, get, get out of my sight. Get out of my, 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 my destination. You get behind me. If you want to be around me, you follow where I go. Woo! Deep. Deep, brother. And, and that, that's the whole point I want to throw at you. So we'll go ahead and wrap up. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the communion. Brother Jackson, if you don't mind. Okay. I got my, what I got? We got to do bread first. There you go. Yeah, we're going to do the bread first. Everybody um, grab your all right let us pray dear father in heaven 
worship you, the glory, honor, and praise. In spite of the world situation and circumstances, in spite of our personal situations, circumstances, that is to glorify you, to glorify you. Those things that do not glorify you, Lord, cast them aside and not be distracted by those things. Lord, you are worthy. Let's not be distracted by any troubles that may come our way. Nevertheless, stay focused. You stay focused on your son, Jesus. Yes. The entire world. Yes. That way back to you and that one-on-one -on -one relationship with you, dear Father. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you that word continues to be preached. Continue. People are continuing to experience ministers in their lives. People are continuing to, to try to make that effort to come together. Mm. And stay in Hallelujah. touch with you. Lord, where there was no way, <laughs> the way. There is no way. You make a way. You make a way. And your son Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And yes, Lord. everyone who believes in him have that everlasting reward with you, dear Father in heaven. And we thank you. Thank you. So through this ministry, ministries that are out there, dear Lord, to promote your word. Yes. Because we know that it will not return to you in vain. Come on now. Now, Jesus, we remember you that blood was shed in yes. time. That perfect sacrifice had to be made. Yes. Father demanded it. And you accepted it. And you suffered for it. You are glorified by the Father because of it. Yes. Jesus, right now we take this bread. We we have it in our hands and we consume it. Yes. Free of you. Say these things in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Break and eat. Amen. Like Jimmy said, for the heal of my body. <laughs> Amen. Take the cup. Your body was bruised. It was, it was, it was, it bled for us, dear Jesus, and that, that blood. No other man on the world that was ever born was ever alive when the time you walked on this earth ever yeah. been born after to satisfy be that sacrifice yes but dear jesus you are that sacrifice yes and you are alive Woo. and we just thank you dear jesus yes Amen. you because of that that spiritual knowledge that spiritual motivation that was with us each and every day. Yes. Jesus, power is because of you. Yes. And we thank you for this message that we had this morning, dear Lord. Woo, Amen. Lord. Thank you. Because thank what you, we Lord. are to do is to <laughs> equip. Come on now. Go out and do what we need to do. Yes. Dear Father, guide us. Mm. Dear Jesus, four steps according Come to on. the will, the word of the Father. Wow. And now we take this cup. We yes. drink it in remembrance yes. of you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Brother, I Amen. hope you have a good week. But just remember.